a holiday like this offers a really amazing and a quite magical range of experiences for people. On the one hand, we're going out on a boat in winter into the Norwegian Sea to look for whales, and we can see anything up to five species in one trip. And then at night, we've got the possibility of seeing the Northern Lights, which again is an extremely invigorating and uh, magical experience. Well, I have to say there aren't many places in the world where you can find whales, spot their blows within minutes of leaving the harbour. But that's exactly what's been happening here in Andernes. We've been finding killer whales, which are the real speciality here, but also humpbacks and fin whales, sperm whales. Uh, we even saw long fin pilot whales yesterday. It just feels like it's a whale suit right outside the town. We've got a, a, a really super boat, which is just tailor-made for whale watching. And this is an exclusive just for our group. So with uh, just 50 people on the boat, there's plenty of space to spread out three different levels and a skipper who really knows what he's doing and maximises the chances for us to enjoy the whales at a, a safe and comfortable distance uh, for the whales as well as for the people. Well, the killer whales are here to feed on the herring, which come in vast schools all around Andernes and the fjord next door and so on. And they're here in little family groups. What they're doing is they're just underneath the surface, they're herding the herring, forming tight balls of the fish. And you can see them swimming around in circles close to the surface. And then they come up with bits of fish in their mouths and they disappear again. And you can come out here some days when there's a lot of herring around there are, and there are literally hundreds of killer whales. It's a wonderful place to see them. One of the things we have with two guides on board the boat is we've got flexibility to give people individual attention and also to tailor the trip to individual needs. The humpbacks are also here to feed on herring and in fact they sometimes steal the herring from the killer whales. We had the most extraordinary encounter yesterday. I've been watching humpback whales all over the world for the best part of 25 years on and off and I can't remember a more extraordinary encounter. We had five whales that were feeding on herring and every time they finished a successful feeding bout they would be really active at the surface, lifting their tails really high out of the water, slapping their tails on the surface breaching, flipper slapping, the great long flippers coming out and it was all happening right next to the boat for well over an hour. It was one of the most wonderful days you could possibly hope for. The whales have been absolutely awesome. We have seen humpback sperm, we have seen pilot whales, we have seen orcas and not just one or two but many. We just cannot believe it. Of course, the one thing that we can't control is the weather. And uh, in a day, we can uh, have all sorts of different weather. We can go from a, a snowstorm through to uh, glorious sunshine. Uh, but the one factor that's always present is this amazing light, uh, which uh, helps to make photography an, an absolute dream. It's dark for 19, 20 hours of the day. But those other hours when it's light, you have a wonderful pink twilight. And then, of course, when the sun rises and sets, we have this gorgeous golden light. So for photography, it's, it's absolute heaven. It's, it's a wonderful place for whale watching. The first day and today, the last day, has been incredible. Quite calm seas, um, so I think everybody's enjoyed it. And some good shots, close-up shots of the whales, so we've been very lucky. It's almost as if sperm whales have been designed for whale watching, because what they do is they dive really deep. I mean, sometimes thousands of feet deep and then they come up to the surface and they're up at the surface just to catch their breath. So they stay still, they stay in one place, just breathing. So you can see the blow, you can creep over there and just hang by the whale while it catches its breath. And then it stretches and you have a, a few moments warning that it's going to dive. It's wonderful, so we can shout out, it's going to dive. And then the tail gradually comes up and it comes up almost in slow motion. And then when the whale is vertical, it then drops down out of sight and that's it. And you wait another half an hour and up it comes again. You couldn't make it up, it's perfect. We've done both trips on this boat. So this is the eighth time we've gone out and every day is different. That's why we do so much whale watching and there's been something magical in everyone. One of the things that makes this a great place to see the Northern Lights is that we get a kind of hole in the sky above us 
and that is really important because you need a clear sky as well as a dark sky. We're also away from any large cities so we haven't got that kind of orange glow around that interrupts the Northern Lights viewing. We fit in a programme of lectures on various different subjects, so on whales, on Northern Lights, and uh, this kind of adds to the whole experience for people that want a little bit more background information. And then of course we've got the wonderful mountain scenery uh, that's all around us, and the sea. So I think it's a really unique and uh, amazing holiday. I think it's exceeded expectation to be honest, Peter. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm here more for the scenery rather than the animals, but this has just been fantastic. Just to see the whales surrounding the boat. I can't tell what, what they are, what species they are, but it's been the time of my life. Single images that I'll go away from, you know, the, 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 the humpback whales sort of basically standing on their noses. Incredible behaviour, they weren't just diving down, they, they seemed to be holding it there. Um, and that is uh, something I've never seen and I don't suppose we'll ever see again, but it, it was very special. Well worth the money. <laughs> absolutely overwhelmed by it all. I think if you come and expect the unexpected uh, then you'll just not go back disappointed. Everyone should do it. <laughs> When's the next trip? <laughs> <laughs>